Hello everyone and welcome back. I just finished with episode 3 of Oshinoko and um, I have to say Kana has made a complete 180 as far as characters are concerned. Uh, apparently what that director pulled on her when she was a kid by bringing Aqua on and letting him kind of show her up really made an impression on her because she is an excellent character now. Like she's changed so dramatically her whole, whole whole attitude is completely different now uh the way she sees the industry the way she carries herself as an actress and how she you know it's it's just it's pretty pretty interesting to see them make that kind of a huge turnaround and to see her grow so much uh, as a character and i think she's going to be a driving force when it comes to trying to convince aqua that he does indeed have the talent to be an actor despite the fact that he really doesn't seem all that concerned with it at the end of the day. Uh, it seems like there's going to be a bit of a tug of war between Aqua and his actual kind of innate underlining drive to want to act and also his ambitions uh, to enact his revenge that he plans on doing because there seems to be a, a slight part of him that is not totally against the idea, but he's got bigger problems right now. Bigger fish to fry, much bigger priorities in his mind. So it's like it's something he keeps pushing to the back of his mind. And it's almost like he's trying to convince himself that it's something that he doesn't want to do. But I can I can see Kana really pulling that true actress or actor out of him. Um Otherwise, though, I mean, this episode was very Kana focused. Kana and Ru uh, Ruby, fo well, not Ruby, Kana and um, Aqua focused. It focused on kind of them developing their relationship and her trying to convince him to to get back into acting or whatever. And uh, unfortunately, we don't really get to see him act much. Like they they show a scene that depicted him doing so, but there was no like actual lines or anything. So we. Judging from Kana, he did pretty well, um, and that's cool, but I do like the fact that, like, already, like I said, we're only three episodes in, and we've got crazy character development for certain characters, and one of them isn't even a real, I mean, I, I guess maybe maybe in this show, and in, in, like after the prologue, she is a bit more of a main character. I don't want to say she's not a main character. But we know the show focuses on Ruby, Aqua, and their mom, essentially. Those are like the primary main characters. And some people could argue maybe the director. But we'll see. We'll see how things pan out. Otherwise, this episode was really good. It, um, it really painted Kana in a really good light. And shown how much she has grown since that incident with her as a kid. It also shows how much admiration and respect she has grown. Um, she's kind of cultivated for Aqua over the years, um, the simple fact that she heard that he may have quit or wasn't in the industry anymore really, you know, made her feel bad. And initially I thought it was like, I thought it was like on some rivalry, I have to defeat you so you can't quit type of thing. But no, she seems to be genuinely just glad that he's still in the industry because she genuinely just hates seeing people who have potential just quit because she knows how cutthroat that it can be. So she's uh, gone through the effort to make herself a lot more agreeable. She's learned that um, your your acting ability only bears so much on what's available to you and how, how um, I guess, recruitable you are in the industry. Um, it, you only can take that so far because if you're riding on the fact that you're just a good actor or actress, but you're arrogant and disagreeable and hard to work with it doesn't matter how good you are you probably not going to get very many jobs because people just aren't going to want to deal with you there's so many processes and so much crap that goes into making movies and v videos and whatever in the industry everybody's got stress on top of stress on top of stress nobody wants to deal with your shit you know like yeah you know, it's just kind of the way it is so the more agreeable you are and, and not necessarily being a pushover, but just being easy to work with, the higher likelihood you'll probably get a job, you know. So it's good that they're really still 
heavily focusing on the industry and the inner workings and the way that it works and the realities of this situation while still character building at the same time. This person knows what he's doing. I know for a fact that they know what they're doing because I watched um, Kageyasama and it is excellent. The way they juggle all these characters, interpersonal relationships and stuff, the very, very in-depth attention to detail that they pay. It's, it's you know, I have 100% faith that this show is going to be continue to be great. So that's my overall view on the episode three of uh, this show. Still loving it. It, it hasn't it hasn't gone down yet. It's still an upward hill. It's still the, the it's still going up. <laughs> it's it's a great show. So anyway, that's my thoughts there. If you guys liked it, definitely hit that like button. If you didn't, please tell me why down in the comments below and I'll see you guys on the next one.